Hello you guys and welcome by another tutorial of AA's art channel. Today we're gonna have a look at this new fantasy painting that I made and in my belief it's uh, a queen of the three elves and her crown is uh, filled with uh, fruits of the forest and uh, so we're gonna have a look at today at this painting and I'm going to ramble a little bit about the techniques and the painting itself. So here is uh, fruits of the forest. For this painting I use different uh, techniques. First I'm starting uh, with a uh, one color on the, for the base, well actually a few colors, a few different uh, green tones. And that is done with acrylic paint, then I will come back with my airbrush for the out of focus parts. Then I will come back with the acrylic again for the more in detail uh, parts of this painting. And uh, eventually I will start uh, painting in with my oils. And I did it because it, uh, the oils give me a, a, a way longer time to blend stuff. So especially for the skin tones, I really like the oil paint. So those three uh, mediums are used for this painting. And it's quite a big one. If I remember, uh, remember it correctly, it's uh, 120 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So it's a, a very big canvas. And it also took uh, quite a long uh, to finish up. So I had a lot of footage for this uh, painting. But yeah. I really like it and I really uh, want this to be uh, quite big. Like I said in the intro, um, this is one of my fantasy paintings and I have a little bit of story behind this painting for myself, why I wanted to paint this uh, painting. Uh, so I thought it would be nice to talk about that uh, also a little bit. And I'm going to vary a little bit with the techniques that I use and, and the story. But uh, once again, it's a fantasy painting, so you may... Um, like it or not or you may see something completely different in this painting that is all uh, fine by me so for me uh, she is a uh, queen of the three elves and her crown is um, made of moss and also the fruits fruits of the forest and in my belief she uh, he sees um, her best friend is the horse and i painted the horse with uh, with some spanish moss as uh, his mane um, that's just because I really like Spanish moss and they always remind me of mane of horses. I don't know exactly why, but uh, it gives for me a, um, a nice fantasy feel to, uh, to the horse. Therefore, I thought it would be nice for this painting to use that Spanish moss. And um, it's basically, I painted with the same techniques. I, uh, normally when I'm painting mane, I uh, you, uh, paint try to paint clumps of mane in, in, instead of only... Um, are uh, individually uh, hairs because it, it doesn't look uh, quite well now i had to go um yeah sort of in between those techniques so i had a little bit more of quite a bit more uh, i have to say quite a bit more um, individually strings yeah of hair in this case uh, spanish moss because spanish moss um yeah doesn't look uh, appear a little bit different than the, than the main uh, of the horse so therefore i uh, changed that up a little bit you will see me do that in uh, in a few seconds or m probably a minute i will start with the uh, with the main so um but also the build up is uh, for me the same i start with a mid-tone uh, gray on the main subject that i want to paint and then i'm go um in between the darks and the light most of the times i start with the darks and build up towards the light and also I always like to start with the furthest back. So therefore I start with my background and then I'm working uh, towards the most in detail uh, parts of the painting. And uh, sort of the story behind this is that the queen of the elf, uh, uh, sorry, queen of the el uh, three elves, uh, she and her um, her colleagues, the uh, the three elves, are... Um, Going on a on her their their journeys, I think for me in the very early morning, and they take the fruits with them and they hang them for us in in the trees and also for the animals. I think more for the animals, but also for us, of course. But um, yeah, it's a sort of little gift, and it's at, uh, for me at the they hang them at at uh, sort of at the boundary of both worlds. So uh, the boundary of our world and the boundary of their worlds. So um. That's a little bit, um, yeah, sort of symbolic for me. And I think they li live um, very far in the forest. And um, maybe you see them, uh, maybe, maybe you don't, but I uh, think they are um, quite, um, yeah, they, they like to be on their, uh, their shelf and in their own world. So um, once in a while we may have uh, some bit of contact with them. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be nice to try to 
yeah, paint this story. So therefore, I came up with uh, with this idea, and the connection between the horse and the the queen elf is is very big. And for me, the horse is almost telling her so. Um, uh, by the way he looks and how he holds his head that it's uh, it's time to go and time to go to bring out the uh, the fruits to the forest before it's too late before we are awakened and uh, they may run into us and that's not what they want most of the times so uh, he's a little bit um, yeah he wants to go it's time and she's a little bit dreamy you will see that later on and um, yeah she's uh, she is, is basically forgetting the time <laughs> So that is, uh, this is a, b a bit what, uh, what is happening here in, uh, in this painting. In the, mean, uh, of, uh, yeah, in the meanwhile, while I was, was talking about that, you saw me painting in, uh, in the Spanish moss, and maybe you noticed there are a lot of lines there. Uh, that w this is what I uh, tried to mention earlier on, the individual lines, to get that feel of the Spanish moss. And um, it's quite easy, it's basically the same when you do uh, paint animal uh, fur and uh, mane. But yeah, it's a little bit um, different. All oh, the differences is, uh, like I said, in the individually strings of fur. Most of the times, if you uh, see tutorials, uh, there's no one who uh, will encourage you to paint those strings. But in these cases, there are some cases you need those there. So that's that's the difference. And that's the nicest thing of fantasy art, and also with surrealistic. You can basically, in my belief, paint everything you like because um, there are basically no boundaries. For me, a boundary would be that I um, maybe I could hurt somebody with with a painting or something like that. That that's just in general. Uh, I think nothing. Uh, that's yeah. It's it's a boundary there because it, it's uh, art is not um, in the intended to be uh, hurtful to people to watch. I think we try to capture a story. And the story may um, you may like that story you may like the painting or not that's also okay people uh, not not everyone likes these uh, paintings that I uh, that I make the fantasy art style personally I love it but yeah that's okay there are a lot of different artists out there so for I think there's a, a at least one painting for everyone and here I'm painting her skin uh, tone with uh, with the um, acrylic paints but I stopped doing that um, yeah quite quickly because I cannot blend as nice as I'm still trying it in acrylic paint but um, yeah in a minute you will see me using the oils and I think you can see it because I uh, most of the times I get a little bit more glare on my canvas because of the daylight lamps and the oil uh, stays uh, wet longer than the acrylic so that that's the way to see it uh, at least I hope so <laughs> But uh, yeah, once it gets uh, easier, I, uh, I definitely started painting with the oils. And like I said, first of all, this is a very big painting, that, but also there are a lot of details in there, um, like on these fruits I'm painting in. And uh, a lot of time I'm just keeping telling myself just to take the time, not focus on um, the actual time that it takes to paint, but just take your time to paint in the details. Eventually it will make sense, but now it, it doesn't look um, as nice, but it just needs quite a lot of time to, uh, to get it right. And also you may be uh, wondering how I come up with the concept, because you can imagine that I don't have a one straight reference for these paintings. I like to go, uh, especially on the Pixar Bay, because there are um, copyright free pictures. Um, uh, just collect stuff that I think might may fit in my paintings and then I'm going um, into Photoshop and uh, basically try to make my own reference so I um, cut and paste a lot and that is how I come up with uh, with these paintings and I have to say nowadays I um, also do a little bit more um, yeah a little bit more of the um, digital art I talked about it uh, in in one of two, uh, one of my tutorials. I don't remember which one, but um, then I said that I did uh, get very itchy eyes when I was working digitally. But I think I made fun of it. Oh, and by the way, I'm now starting in oils. You can see the difference here. The oils is uh, very pigmented, and also I'm painting in little sections, and I do that when I'm uh, painting with oils because I have the time to to blend. But uh, okay, back to the digital part. So I. Um, really am um, 
yeah try to give myself some sort of lesson so i uh what is uh, i do i make my own tutorials here on my youtube channel but also i like to watch a lot of other other artists and tutorials because it's uh, it's very helpful and it's uh, really a um, a way to learn uh art for me that suits me i like to see what i they are doing they are talking about it and like to practice right away what they what what they do and also you have a lot of um tutorials out there you can choose from so you don't have to paint things you don't like and that it's, yeah that is what i had when i had the uh, the lessons with a actual uh, tu tutor and i paid for those i just had five i think uh, just a few but yeah i had to paint stuff that i just didn't like <laughs> so um that that doesn't keep me mot motivated to paint um so that's why i am uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of youtube and i hope i can um, can help you guys out or probably just like the, the painting you, know, you really like to uh, of may hope hopefully you really like to uh, watch how it's uh, how it's made and also me rambling about it a little bit <laughs> but yeah so um i'm, I'm trying to uh, do a little bit more in the digital to uh, uh art style i really like it but yeah i have a lot to learn but maybe one day if it really suits me i will uh, make some tutorials about the uh, digital art as well Oh, and uh, maybe you're wondering, I have the iPad Pro and I'm working in Procreate. I really like to uh, work in Procreate when I do digital, digital art. And um, one, uh, for this painting, I just use GIMP. If you don't um, know the program, just you, I think you have to look it up because it's a free program, f free Photoshop program in it. You have a lot of options. And the nice thing, it's free, and it's, it's, you can really do a lot with that program. And I'm slowly building up. Maybe you notice that I changed the color of the eyes. Um, first of all, I tried to paint them purple, but I, I didn't uh, like it in this setting. So I started uh, to use the green, because honestly, I was basically in love with the green paints. I uh, started using my oils and one i do remember that was the olive green and i have another one those two are uh, really perfect for uh, painting um these uh, these uh, leaves and 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 the fruit so um yeah it's it's a really beautiful uh, green colors and i thought well i'm liking those green colors so much i'm just gonna paint her eyes green and uh, i also used in the skin tone with a warm white from the from the gambling um uh, company uh, I mixed a little bit of the green in. You get that really, yes, a s almost a little bit of gold feeling in there in the paint. It may sound a little bit strange, but it, it really turned out great uh, mixing those two together. So uh, that's how I uh, came up. And basically I'm s saying that I, I use Photoshop to create my image, but while I'm painting, I change a lot because I uh, really uh, like to, um, yeah, Sometimes I c come across something, I mix some colors and I'm really liking them more than I have uh, used in Photoshop, so I, I just change it. And I'm really glazing a lot. I'm painting in the details, they are a little bit too strong, but I will come back and then glaze over my colors. And with red tones, I always do an under uh, layer. Um, probably two or three layers with a lighter color sometimes white or um, orange and yellow mixed in with the, with the white and then I will come back with my uh, my uh, red color uh, for this one so I did also have a little bit of pink in there just um, basically I'm trying out stuff just to see which uh, colors combinations I like the most and I really really enjoyed and like the blueberries there um, the blue color, blue purplish color, I really enjoyed. They they really started to pop uh, quite early on in my uh, my painting, and like I said, it was it, it's a, a blue purplish color. And if I remember correctly, I at least used the cobalt blue and the the a, a violet or yeah, I think a deep violet color. I'm not correct there, but I mixed those two. You can uh, get a very similar results if you have the blue and the purple and you will mix them together 
And because of the light of those green colors so much, I uh, wanted to have them uh, on the mane of this horse as well. And also I like to use some uh, colors who are in the background on my main subject to, to get that uh, feel of one painting. To not to let, uh, let them stand out too much from the background because that, that most of the times it doesn't look uh, quite right. So therefore I like to use some background colors and glaze them over parts of um, my main subject. And try to get that mossy feel, the, the yeah, forest uh, moss feel. So therefore I have these strange uh, browns, uh, strange um, uh, of th those lines, a little bit strange lines, but those, um, yeah, are little branches, I think, something like that. Some less details. This part I uh, take uh, quite a lot of time, I, I like to take my time for this part to uh, focus on the details and watch my uh, painting from a distance, see what I need. In this case, at uh, this stage I don't watch my references much, but I uh, watch my painting and see what my painting needs. And so she, here she is, the Queen of the Three Elves. Once again another fantasy uh, painting and um, yeah, let me know if you like it. So let's frame her. <laughs> Just kidding, I always have this at the end of my tutorials. Um, because uh, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, also my own website. And of course, please give this a thumbs up, thumbs up if, you, if you like it. And uh, if you want, you're always uh, welcome to subscribe to my channel. And I also want to mention to you, all of you guys, uh, I hope you are doing well. It's a very, very strange times. and. Um, yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial may have uh, taken your mind off um, certain things. Um, and like I said, I just hope you are all, all doing uh, well. Um, this is it for now. Thank you uh, for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye.